Brakatai Ahawa, Brakatai Ahawa Shai, blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, and blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and our Savior. Nathan Mashanak Kabad Lazu Kwami Shai Asharala, give double honors to the elders of Israel, which is the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, and Shalawan Wahab La Bakiyar Shai Asharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson by Shum Rakakodash Shah Amaf in the name of the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the topic of this video, I'm basically, I'm just basically uh, feeding off the brother's spirit. Out there in Dallas, uh, uh, they did a video. Land back in, uh, they did a video, uh, and the title of the video was "Don't Use the Last Days to Be Irresponsible." And in the midst of the video, the elder Ariala he made a statement and he said, um, "Don't read about being diligent, but become diligent. Don't read about being honest, but become honest. Don't read about being brotherly, but become brotherly. All right, don't just read it, do it. Okay, become the scriptures. Don't just quote the precepts. All right, don't just don't just read it, don't just recite it, but 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 uh, become it. All right, apply it to your life. Now let's get that scripture in James. This is the book of James, chapter one, in verse. James chapter one and verse twenty. Verse 22, it says, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own self. So you have to be a doer of the word. You have to become the word. You have to embody what the scriptures say. The scriptures say, let this mind that's in Yahweh Shai be within you. And what was Yahweh Shai's mind? Yahweh Shai's mind was this word. Okay, it said that the word became flesh in the book of John, the first chapter, the word became flesh. So we got to have that same mindset of just embodying the scriptures as a whole. All right, let's go from there to the book of Colossians. Colossians chapter, uh, I believe it's the third chapter, Salakia. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 12, it says, Put on therefore as the elect of Yahweh, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Yahweh Shai Mashiach forgave you, so also do ye. So you don't just read that, you don't just bring the priesthood out, but you apply those characteristics to your elect. Or it's like you apply those characteristics to your life, all right, so that you are what? Putting on, therefore, as the elect. All right, you're being the scriptures, you're living the scriptures and not just reading them, not just not just reciting them, not just quoting them, but you're actually living it. You're actually being a doer of the word and not a hearer of the word. Let's go from there to the book of Romans, chapter 12. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you have to renew your mind. And how do you renew your mind? With these scriptures, man. These scriptures are supposed to return your whole life around. These, these scriptures, like the elder Ariala was saying, these scriptures are supposed to upgrade you, man. You're supposed to be moving forward. Your character. Characteristics or, 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 or your uh, uh, your your characteristics as a person or your attributes as a person should be uh, uh, constantly increasing, man. All right, let's get another scripture on that. This is First Corinthians chapter fifteen and verse fifty-eight. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, so you always got to be abounding, always being better than the than the person that you was yesterday. All right, your your outward man should die daily, but your inward man shall be renewed every day, man. By constantly going into the scriptures and apply, uh, uh, constantly going into the scriptures, meditating on the scriptures and applying it to your life. All right. So, I mean, I was just uh, watching the video and uh, uh, I was inspired to, you know, to throw a couple precepts out there. So, Lord willing, that was edifying by Shamra Kakodash, Shah Amaf, in the name of the Holy Spirit of Truth. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, which is our Lord and our Savior. The water Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do that lesson. Nathan Mashanaka Bad Lazu Kwame Shoyar Sharala, give double honors to the elders of Israel, which is the elders and the apostles of Great Mills. Stone that rule well, and Shalom Wahab Labakiyar Shoyar Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom Wahab, give me brothers, keep on pushing. Shalom Wahab Barak, and peace and blessings.